Congratulations, everybody, on having a great school year. And I just can't tell you how much I appreciate all the hard work that you've had throughout the year and the difference in the lives of our children that you've made uh, throughout the year. A lot of the stories I've heard uh, during the year, a lot of accolades, a lot of really positive things. But I also know that 99% of the positive things that happen in our school district uh, really go unseen and unheard beyond your own classroom. So for all of those things, I want to tell you how much I appreciate that. Um, I want to give you a quick update on the legislature and not to bring everybody down. Uh, there were some really positive things in the legislative session. A lot of really bad ideas uh, were killed, and frankly, that's a good thing uh, because there was a bunch of them out there. Um, and so I felt really good about the non-school finance issues and how they panned out for the most part, including a revamping of the accountability system and a relook at the assessment system that we have in our state. And you all know how I feel about that. And so I really felt positive about that. Unfortunately, on school finance, the legislature just didn't come to a decision to do anything for public schools. Uh, you know that the House had come up with a, a significant amount of money that would have really benefited our district. Uh, the Senate, uh, really abysmal uh, numbers that came out. And unfortunately, at the end of the day, the Senate uh, numbers are what won. And for our school district, that means uh, a pretty serious... Uh, lack of funding for this next uh, biennium. Uh, so well, our best hope is going to be in the Texas Supreme Court. We are going to depend on them to uh, rule in our favor uh, later on this school year and then uh, make sure that the legislature uh, does its constitutional duty in making sure that public schools are funded adequately uh, and equitably and that local school districts have discretion over their local tax rates. Uh, and that's not happening today for anybody in Texas. But particularly, Alamo Heights has been hurt very difficult times in the last uh, three legislative sessions, and that's not positive. Um, but I do have hope. I have hope in the Texas Supreme Court, and I actually think at the end of the day, public schools are going to continue to thrive and do well, primarily because of you. Um, and so I just want to tell you some accolades in our district through the, uh, the year. Real quickly, top 1% in the nation. Uh, that's you. Uh, you've done that work, and so congratulations. Uh, top 10 in extracurricular activities uh, for UIL in the state, uh, that's you. Congratulations. Uh, fine arts programs going off the charts, you name it, leadership, student council, all of those things that provide a rich, engaging experience for our kids, uh, that is you. And so I could go on and on, but I just want to tell you how much I appreciate that. And this community appreciates you and everything that you do. The nice thing about a school year is there's a beginning and an end. And we're going to begin before you know it. Uh, but today is the end of a school year, and it's time to celebrate uh, everything that you've accomplished in our kids and our community. So please take time and celebrate. I hope the next three months for you are a time to recharge your batteries and invest in yourself and in your family and in your friends. Take time. Have a great time. I hope you come back in August rested and relaxed and ready to take on another year. And for those of you who are retiring or moving on, thank you so much as well and best wishes to you. Just remember this will always be your home. We love you. Have a great summer. See you in August.